Good evening, folks. Today I want to talk about plate solving software. In particular, there is a new one, or at least a new one for me, called uh, ASTAP that I've been using for the last uh, couple weeks or so, and that uh, works really well. And I'll go through that with you later on. Uh, anyways, let me just talk about some of the other ones that are in existence, because uh, people have been asking me about this uh, from time to time. There is Astro Tortilla, that's been around for years. There is All, All Sky Plate Solver, again, been around for years. Uh, Plate Solve 2, and again, this new one that I'm talking that I'm going to discuss later on. Now, all these plate solving software, they can be used separately, alone, standalone software, or they can be used with your image capturing software, and which that's what I've been using it for. I, I, I've never used them as a standalone. I've always used it with uh, imaging capturing software. All right, let me first off state one thing, qualify this. I am by no means a plate solving software expert uh, by any means. So if you know, you know more, you know something else, or if I say something incorrectly, please feel free to correct me on my comments section. Anyways, Astro Tortilla you or I, I first heard of it when I was using Backyard EOS, although I didn't know about plate solving back then, and I never used it before, and I never used plate solving along with Backyard EOS. That was that's when I was a newbie and I hadn't put it all together yet. When I switched to APT, and <clears throat> I started with APT, and I actually was using Sequence Generator Pro. I was started off trying to use both of them. And both of them used uh, that All Sky Plate Solver, and they also used the PS2. And I got those working for both of those programs. Although nowadays I, I've switched totally to APT. I've I've never gotten the All All Sky Plate Solver to work. That's the one you use, at least in APT. That's the one you use um, when you're doing blind solving, and I never got blind solving to work. So whatever, I, I hadn't really needed blind solving because I usually just go out and do a quick one-star alignment. And for plate solve two to solve it, all you gotta do is be within a couple degrees and it works really well. The blind solving, uh, you don't have to do an alignment, you just go ahead, turn it on, and photograph, and let it solve, but that takes longer, uh, you know, where the PS2, the plate solve 2, might take 10, less than 20 seconds ordinarily. The blind solving, at least from what I understand, is going to take a, a bit longer to solve for it, so that, that's another reason why I've always used the PS2. Yes, in fact, um, on my outside scope the one of the uh, in my astronomy shed uh, that one's so accurate I don't even have to do an alignment it's it's always aligned because I, I parked the scope at night and don't change it so the next next day it's already set up so that that makes plate solving real easy to do okay well here I am and I'm in the download page for this uh, ASTAP astronomic stacking program and it's actually more than just a plate solver, it actually you can do, it, it stacks images as well. But uh, anyways, here is, let me just scroll down. Uh, okay, here it is. All right, this is the directions for uh, setting up with astrophotography tool. And the older, ver the, the latest version of astrophotography tool, I believe is 3.85. And that one, you have to do a couple of, bells and whistles in order to get this to work but the latest beta versions uh will uh, there's and i'll show you that i'll open up the beta version i'll show you where it is you just click download and it downloads it and connects it up automatically it's real easy to do so you don't have to do much of anything and if you use sequence generator pro it also has uh directions for using this thing uh, as i said um I've been using it for a few weeks now, actually about a month. It It's lightning fast. That's why I, I was psyched about using it. Anyways, let me show you something else. Well, howdy folks. Tonight I'm gonna demonstrate 
uh, plate salving. I'm I've got an unexpectedly clear night, and I'm going to go after the Medusa Nebula uh, using HA, the moon's out. But anyways, let me show you this uh, plate things. Now, here's AS. Uh, P.S. This is a all st all star plate solver, and I'm in astrophotography tool. And this one is one you would use if you were doing blind solving. This is plate solve two. This is the one I normally use and I've been using. And this new one, ASTAP, which I don't know what the acronym stands for, is relatively new, at least for astro for uh, at least for using ATP and I've been trying to use it for the last uh, couple months now and I'm using a beta version of astrophotography tool because that's the only one it works with now the latest beta version works the previous beta versions it only worked for one or two plate solves and then it quit and I had to restart uh, APT but I think now it works pretty well so I'm, right, I'm going to go to a star to do some focusing in. So let's see, I will go to the, the object I'm looking for is in Gemini. So I'll go to Polux or Castor, one of those two. And here's Polux right here. And I'll go to it. Okay, nowhere near it, but now I'll do the plate solve. And I got point craft open. The Polux. Press OK and press solve. Image solved. Look at that, lightning fast. I'll sync it. Objects. Polux. Ah, oops. Ah, crap. Press wrong button. Okay, go to plus plus. Exposure started. Exposure finished. Go to plus plus finished. Okay, that was plate solving. Like I said, this program is lightning fast. I'm very happy with it. Okay, I'll do one more plate solve to see if this actually works uh, consistently. So I'm focused now using HA and I'm gonna go to the Medusa Nebula. So, optic, Medusa, go to. Okay, I'll put on point craft. Object, Medusa, solve. Image solved. There we go. It's solved using HA. I know a lot of people were having questions, does it work just as well with HA? And the answer is yes, it does. I'm gonna sync it here too. And we'll go to Go to plus plus. I'm taking five second uh, exposures. Exposure by the way. started. I, I have good luck with five second exposures. Exposure it's not, finished. It gives it time to um, overcome any atmospheric disturbances, um, but yet it gets it's uh, not too long. Mm -hmm. Exposure started. Exposure finished. Go to plus plus finished. Okay, well, hopefully that's it. I'm not sure of the seeing though. The moon's out, like I said, and it's, it's fairly bright. So we'll see what happens. I also have 
my new guide scope, the ASI 120. So that's something new, which I'll show you how that works as well. And we'll press auto select star, PHE, and it's guiding away. This has been working real well since I um, upgraded to this new ASI 120. And let me see, we'll go to camera and I'll set up an exposure run real quickly. Here's an HA run, that's good, and that's about what I wanna do. So I'll edit the program. And this Medusa thing is, um, it's actually SH2-2 74 HA, and I'd like to do three minute exposures. I'll do 20 of them. Update current and press OK. Everything is ready to go. And Exposure started. There we go. I'm going to pause it right now and then we'll see what the first exposure looks like to see if I get anything from this thing. Okay, well, I'm back and uh, there's what that Medusa thing looks like. Let me... There you go. So it doesn't look that bad, I, I don't think. Let's see if I can get a. So there it is. Wow. Not too bad. I'm pretty happy with it. So, anyways, I think that's all for now, and we'll see you later.